What's up guys, it's Sam here at George Michael Technology. Today we're going to be having an overview of the Trek Marlin 8 Plus. This is an e-bike that's mid-powered, not too heavy and not too harsh on the wallet either. So the Marlin 8 for me is like Trek's gateway e-bike. Uh, get you in there, get you using them before you move on to the hard stuff, you know, the rails and the fuel EXEs. Um, I was happy to see this bike come out from Trek because time and time again we have customers come into the store, they balk at the price of a, a, a proper full fat e-bike like a rail or whatever, and then they go out and buy themselves something that's a grand, maybe a grand and a half, and they bring that into us for repair very shortly after that and they get upset because there's no recourse for warranty or to get spare parts and so on and so forth. So they think they've saved money, but we all know what it's called, it's false economy. This bike, from Trek, reputable brand, it's got solid components from you know Shimano, uh, RockShox and so on. So you know you're, with, you're in good hands, you're working with good companies with the components on this bike. If anything goes wrong, you're well looked after. Yeah, I know it's a little bit more expensive than the bikes I just mentioned, but you're getting your money's worth for that. So what exactly are you getting for your free grand? Well, you're getting everything that you'd expect on a modern day mountain bike. Drop a post. Tubeless ready wheels and tyres that come set up tubeless from the shop. Absolutely solid Shimano Dior 1x12 drivetrain. Shimano four pot brakes, loads of stopping power there. RockShox Recon fork with compression adjustment, lockout and rebound damping. It's got the Bosch 400 watt hour integrated battery and a 50 newton meter motor, which might not sound like a lot, but on a bike that weighs 21 kilos, it's, some, it's more than enough power. Uh, it's got the integrated remote and display, the Purion 200, which everybody's wanting on their bikes nowadays. So, as you can see, solid spec. But who is this bike for? If you're considering getting an e-bike, ask yourself this. Are you staying on the road or are you going off-road? If you're staying on the road, go and get a hybrid. If you're going off-road, the Marlin 8 covers all bases. It'll do canal towpaths, free local trails, up to the Reds and Blacks at Dolby Forest. So if you are in the market for an e-bike, consider this. Cheap doesn't always mean good value. Sometimes things are cheap and they're no good. This isn't what I would consider cheap. £3,000 is, is, is a lot of money, but it is great value for that money. What you're getting, I don't think you find elsewhere on the market. Trek Marlin 8 is a solid option.